though there are times where you're gonna be stressed and it, that's just how it is, you're planning a huge event and that's totally fine and I get that element of it totally, but I would say just enjoy it as much as you can. Hi, I'm John from PGP Wedding Films, and welcome to Say Yes to the Best, where we talk to the best wedding pros to give you wedding planning tips. And I'm here with Tony from Tony Marie Photography. How are you doing, Tony? Good, how are you? I'm Thanks doing for having great. me. Thank you, thank you for doing this. Uh, yeah. You know, we were all here at Tyler Garden for a styled shoot. Unfortunately, I don't know how much of the weather you can see. Yeah. It didn't really hold up, but I'm sure we got some good stuff. We got some good shots still. Yeah, you got to roll with the punches sometimes. Yep. Sometimes it rains on your wedding day. Yep. You got to roll with the punches. And I love when they have like a backup plan. So they had a yep. backup plan for they this did. and I, you know, yeah. that's always. It was great. Fun. Yeah, it was awesome. Cool. It was a lot of fun. So tell me a little bit about your business. How long have you been doing photography? Yeah. So I've been in business for, I'm going on my seventh year as a freelance photographer. I actually shot my first wedding when I was in 10th grade. And um, I've been kind of doing it ever since. I started building a portfolio in high school and then I, it just kind of took off, word of mouth. So yeah, I've been doing wedding photography um, and portraits for about seven years now. I'm jealous. I wish I had been smart enough to start doing something that would help me in business when I was in 10th grade. I was making, like, I was making like dumb short films and like watching the Phillies, that's, that's good, it. That's good though, I mean, any, anytime you get to practice, yeah, right? Yeah, what's your favorite thing about being a wedding photographer? Oh, that's a good question. My favorite thing about being a wedding photographer is just getting to interact with so many amazing couples um, and getting to be a part of a day that's so impactful and meaningful for them and their families, I'd say. That's awesome. my favorite part, yeah. Awesome. So uh, for our audience, what would be some like really important tips they should consider uh, when they're thinking about their wedding photography? Yeah, so I would say some important tips that you can think about when you're choosing your wedding photographer is Think about the type of style that you want um, your photos to look like. There's tons of different photography out there and tips, different styles and trends. So you wanna make sure that you're picking something that's timeless, I would say, something that's not gonna go out of style. Um, and another tip would be, I would say, do engagement pictures. And I know that might seem like a silly tip, but a lot of people don't actually realize how helpful it is because when you shoot with your photographer, before the wedding day, you get an idea of what it feels like to be in front of the camera with your photographer before the actual wedding day. So it actually allows your wedding day photos to go a lot smoother and it gives you an idea of, you know, what it's like. Because sometimes okay. when you're not used to being in front of the camera, it can be a little awkward. I, I totally agree. <laughs> like what engagement videos aren't really a thing, but yeah. just any time that I have like any connection with a couple beforehand, it makes it so much yeah. easier than like, it's less transactional. It's like yeah. you're just another person there at their wedding. Right, exactly. And that's what I want to, I, I really try to make it a connection with my brides and grooms. And that's really important to me is the connection aspect. So for me, being able to connect as much as possible, as much interaction as possible, as much communication as possible, I think it is always helpful for the wedding day. So much is going on all the time. So that's what I would say. So what made you want to be a wedding photographer? Well, like I mentioned before, I had always loved photography ever since I was young. I've always had like a camera in my hand. And then I started doing weddings at a really young age. I was like 16. So I started shooting weddings before I even had my driver's license. <laughs> so in a way, it's kind of funny because I've been shooting weddings longer than I've been driving. <laughs> so I feel like when I first started, I was kind of doing like all different types of photography. And then I would say over the last couple of years, I've really found my place in wedding photography because I feel like that I love the connection of just being able to be with a bride and groom the whole day that they're getting married. I think it's just so sweet for me to be able to take part in such a big day in somebody's life. So life. <laughs> <laughs> I get that messed up too. <laughs> Do you feel like there's a difference between, you know, couples who just get digital prints or someone who has something printed? Absolutely. I think it's important to get prints and have physical artwork. I always push that, not push it, but I always encourage it because I feel like when you're spending money on photos, you want to have something to actually like stand for that and, and hold for it. And to be able to hold something in your hands, it's really like holding artwork rather than just seeing it online. 
it's really a different experience. And so I feel like, especially with albums, um, I think that if you're going to spend money on wedding photography, you might as well get an album where you can be able to show people and show your kids and pass it on. And I think that's why it's so important to get your work like printed and put it in a book or something, because I think it really gets your full worth the value of the photos. It really is like the most that you're going to get out of your money in, in photos is actually being able to have it and hold it. So mm -hmm. I think that's always really special. What do you think? What can couples do that will help you get the most out of their day, help them get the best possible photos? The best possible photos? Um, as I mentioned before, I would say engagement pictures are going to be really helpful for that type of um, question as far as like getting comfortable and knowing some tips and some pointers on poses and flattering angles and all that kind of stuff. The more you shoot, the more you're going to like notice that and be able to kind of get in the groove of posing and all that kind of stuff. So I would say do an engagement session with your wedding photographer. I think that's so important. Um, and yeah, I mean, just have fun with it, I would say. Like for me, my style is very candid and very in the moment and I want to capture your love story and not everybody's love story is the same. There's no two, no two love stories that are the same. Your love story is unique and I want to be able to tell that through just you guys pulling out your personalities during your wedding day. So I think that that is what I would say. I would say, don't worry too much about posing because your photographer, or if you go with me, I will help you with that, you know, when the time comes. But I would say go into it the mindset of just have fun mm -hmm. and be yourself. What is your favorite part of a wedding day to shoot? My favorite part of the wedding day? Um, surprisingly, I would say I love getting ready shots. I think that that is such a cool way to, when you're looking at your gallery, like the start of your gallery of you actually, the start of your day getting ready. I think those are so sweet. There's a lot of special moments that are happening where you're able to like really think about what's about to happen this day. It's a lot of like built up anticipation of emotion and that shows in your pictures. So those sweet little moments of like, the dad or the mom seeing the bride for the first time or the best friend helping put on the veil or whatever it may be. I think that those little moments are so sweet to capture. And I always encourage my brides to get enough hours of coverage that will cover your getting ready session mm -hmm. because I think that that's really important. Um, and then probably that the whatever time that they allot for bride and groom photos. So whether it's a first look or during your cocktail hour, whatever it may be, those photos are like your wedding photos. Those are the ones you're gonna print out. Those are the ones you're gonna post. So those are like, those that, are it for me. That's it for me too. Cause you get yeah. all, for, for the video, that's when we get like all of like the beauty yeah. shots. Like uh -huh. everything else is great, but that's when I get those just yeah. like, those real like jaw dropping yeah. moments. And it's just. And it's like at that point, usually if, unless they do it at a, at a first look type of situation, they're like married, they just got married, and like it's them seeing each other for the first time, and they're really being together for the first time on their wedding day, just bride and groom. And I think that that is like just so special because that's like when the emotions come out in pictures and in videos. So yeah, for me, I think. So you're also, not only are you a wedding photographer, but you are also engaged in getting married in September, okay. right? Yeah. How's I'm that going? a future bride to be myself, so I'm on the other end of things. Also, <laughs> <laughs> how's that experience been like? It's it's been it's been really good. Um, for me, it's been interesting because being on the other side of things, I'm on the end of receiving from vendors, and it has helped me honestly a lot with my business because it's helped me to hone in on like, okay, communication is so important, which I've always been big on with my brides and grooms, but I would say that that is like really important because I really appreciate when my vendors go the extra mile mm -hmm. to communicate with me about my day. Um, but on the flip side of things, like it, it's been hard for me a little bit because I'm like so picky because I've seen right. it all, right? Mm -hmm. But um, but yeah, it's going to be a beautiful day. I'm really looking forward to it. And all my vendors are awesome. So That's awesome. It's funny you say that because I always tell my wife because I was probably the more typical groom because I hadn't really got into filming weddings yet. Yeah. Like I was like, I want to know what the food is and beyond that, you do what you want. I feel like yeah. now I'd be like the groomzilla, like, no, we are getting, we're doing this. The flowers should look like that. <laughs> Cause now you know, like yeah, visually exactly. what it all looks like together. So. She has friends who ask me more wedding planning tips than her. And if you told me that five That's years hilarious. ago, I would have been like, something like, went yeah, right. massively wrong with my life. What's going on? Here? <laughs> no, something massively right. The fact that you know all of that. <laughs> what would you say has been the, the hardest 
part of being the engagement process? Um, picking a photographer. <laughs> Just honestly, like that was by far the hardest part for me um, because I'm a photographer myself. So it was hard for me to find somebody that I felt like I could trust and also love their style. Um, and I would want their style to line up with mine. So yeah, I think that, but I found somebody, so <laughs> she's wonderful. She's great. So I'm Very cool. totally Very trust cool. her. Yeah. Would you, what's some advice you could give, not just photography, but just in general to someone who's engaged as someone who's engaged? My advice to somebody who's engaged, like in terms of wedding vendors or just, wedding or just in general, yeah. I would say for me, like I went into my engagement season really thinking like, I want to enjoy this because a lot of my engaged friends or people that I've known that have been engaged or whatever, I've asked them like, how's it going? You know, number one question you get, how's wedding planning going? And everybody's answer is always, I'm so stressed out. I'm so stressed out. And so though there are times where you're going to be stressed mm -hmm. and it, that's just how it is. You're planning a huge event and that's totally fine. And I get that element of it totally. But I would say just enjoy it as much as you can. And just, just know in the back of your head, this is a season that is so special and it's so short in the grand scheme of things compared to, you know, life. And you only get to do this like now, you know, so just just enjoy it. And I would say be careful with your vendors. Like, don't just pick the cheapest of the cheap of everything because you get what you pay for. Um, but yeah, that's that's that would be my advice. I would say really just focus on your picking like good vendors about what you want. If flowers are important, don't chintz out on flowers. If photography to you is important, don't chintz out on photography. Like just if if you're able to do it, you know, financially, I would say try to make that work because you're not going to regret it. And yeah, just enjoy it. Just have fun with it. Awesome. Thank you for that. What we usually do next is like five quick tips. Assign somebody when you're getting ready, it could be your maid of honor, a bridesmaid, a mom, give them the job of collecting like your details so that when your photographer gets there on site, you can have all your details right there and the photographer can just get right into doing your detail shots. So that would be like your invitations, your ring, any kind of jewelry that you're wearing that day, your shoes, um, your purse, any of those little details that you want captured because you might forget about it as time goes on. You want that, it'll complete your gallery, it'll look great in an album, just those detail shots. Just assign somebody ahead of time to take care of those details for you. Just a little tip on flowers, you can always use your bridesmaids bouquets as centerpieces for later on. So that'll help you with um, flower arrangements and stuff. Make sure that you're drinking lots of water um, during your the morning of and then like when you're doing your actual bride and groom pictures. Um, I always carry water bottles on me for bride and grooms because you're talking so much to people, you can get thirsty, so make sure you stay hydrated. The last thing you want is to be dehydrated during the reception, not feeling well, so make sure you're hydrating. Number four, I would say to consider hiring a good videographer because while photos are so important and they're gonna last you a lifetime, there's something about the way video captures voices and the the vows like actually being said and the music and it, there's just something about having a video where you can see it graphically like and and be able to hold it um through you know youtube vimeo not actually physically hold it but just to be able to see it and have a platform for it to be there um i don't think you ever regret doing that the last one would be i okay so this is a big tip tip number five i would say make sure that you're spending time together during the reception because a lot of times you get caught up in the moment and you're over here dancing they're over there talking make sure that you have some dances together you're gonna love it afterwards for your photos but it's also good to just have those memories of just actually being together for your reception it goes by so fast um so you want to make sure that you're doing that i think that that's really important and also tip number six this is just a freebie I think it would be really awesome if you just take like a few times throughout the day to just stop and just look around and just take it in. Because as silly as it sounds, the day goes by so fast. Every bride will tell you the day goes by just so fast in a blink of an eye. And I want you as a bride to just have that memory of, I remember actually like being looking around and just taking it in. So 
I would say that. I think that's huge. I yeah. always tell like my couples, like you walk down the aisle after the ceremony, like go into a room just for five minutes and yeah. just like be together. Don't yep. worry about other things. Yeah. Let the people filter out of wherever they are. Yep. Like just take a minute to and be together. Be together. Exactly. Yeah. Just be together in the moment. Exactly. So that's my advice to you in September. Thank you for that advice. You're welcome. It's good. I need to hear it too. Because <laughs> yeah. I can say it, but I need to right, hear it too. Right. Yeah. So the last thing we're going to do is just a few questions uh, okay. to let everyone out there know a little bit more about you. So just let me know the first okay. thing that pops into your head. When you were 16, what was that first wedding shoot like? So it was really low key, really laid back. Um, it wasn't very like, it, it just was a really low key wedding. It was low stress. Um, it was fun. It was a lot of fun because I was kind of just doing something that I always thought was so cool. But yeah, I wasn't like totally knowing everything that I was doing because I had never shot a wedding before. But um, yeah, I remember having like a lot of time, like enough time to get like everything that I needed. Um, but yeah, it was a really like low stress, low key situation. But it, it taught me a lot for mm -hmm. sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What is the craziest photo that you have ever taken at a wedding? The craziest photo? Oh my gosh, I don't know. That's such a hard question. Like crazy, weird, crazy, or like sure, crazy, whatever. funny, crazy. Either would be fine. Whatever comes to mind. Oh my gosh, I don't even know. Um, oh, I really gotta think about that. I feel like nothing like super crazy has ever happened. Okay, well I guess. Um, <laughs> wait, I can't say that. <laughs> now you have to say. It. <laughs> I can't say it. I can't. Say it. Um, oh gosh. I really want to I know don't that. have an answer. You'll have to use your own imagination. <laughs> what, 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 it must, it's so <laughs> crazy. It can't even go on the internet. No, I just don't want to offend anyone. <laughs> but honestly, like, I feel like I've, I'm probably going to think of one as soon as we're done this interview. And we'll post it online so everyone can know what it is. <laughs> <laughs> okay, just do that. <laughs> what is your least favorite wedding tradition? My least favorite wedding tradition. The one thing you're not going to do at your wedding. Well, I was going to say like cake cutting because I feel like a lot of times people don't smush it in their face anymore and I always think that's fun. Mm -hmm. But I they don't do that. What? So, it's so much more fun when they do it. I know. But at the same time as a bride, like I don't want cake all in my face mm -hmm. after you get your makeup done and hair done. <laughs> um, tra I'm trying to think of like traditional, traditional things. Oh, probably a receiving line. That's what I would say, okay. because it takes up so much time. Mm -hmm. And I feel like it's just better to go around. Like if you want to do a receiving line, by all means, it's your day. You need to do what you want to do. But I feel like there's to to utilize your timeline best. It's better to do that at the reception, to go around to the tables mm -hmm. and, and say hi to people if you really want to say hi to everyone. But I would say receiving line is probably my least favorite okay. thing. I just think it takes up too much time. What's your favorite TV show? <laughs> my favorite TV show? Um, well, you got to love The Office. That's like classic. Okay. I actually just finished it for really? the first time, wow. like through, like season one to season nine. Wow. I think there's nine seasons. Yeah. So I'm like really on the high right now <laughs> with The Office because I'm like, I feel like I would have we've been missing my whole life. <laughs> Everybody loves it. Now I know why. Okay. But, um, and New Girl. I like, love New Girl. Love New Girl. Too funny. Mm -hmm. That was the Just show that made girl. me laugh harder than anything. Oh my gosh, me too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, me and my fiance love it. Mm -hmm. We've watched it probably three times through. <laughs> Favorite movie? That's so hard because I'm such a movie person. I love movies. Oh, these are the hardest questions. <laughs> um, movie. Depends on what t what category. Give me a category because that'll be easier. Romantic comedy. Rom-com? Yeah, rom-com. Um... I picked the one with the, the broadest amount of options. I know. Right? Well, How to Lose a Guy in 10 Days is always a classic, okay. I think. That's a good one. About Time is also really oh. good. Okay. Good movie. I think that's a book too, though. Uh, yeah, is that going to be your book pick? <laughs> I haven't read the book, <laughs> so I can't say that. Um, my favorite book, I would probably say Garden City. It's by John Mark Comer. It's really good. Do you have a favorite photographer? Yeah, I actually, I love, so I follow um, Annie Graham on Facebook. I mean, Instagram, Facebook, Instagram. Annie Graham is awesome. I actually use some of her presets for some of my photos when I'm editing. Annie Graham, she's amazing. India Earl photography, really popular, famous West Coast photographer. She's awesome. Um, one of my really good friends, Julia, Pool. She lives in Hawaii, so she shoots weddings in Hawaii. She's super cool. One of my best friends. Uh, her photography is Julie Kathleen, and it's she's amazing. 
She actually did me and my fiance before we were engaged. She, we took pictures of oh, Ocean City, cool. Cool. New Jersey. Yeah, I love Ocean City. I know, me too. She's great too. I have too many. I don't know. <laughs> what are you looking forward to the most with your wedding? What am I looking forward to the most? Mm -hmm. I'm really looking forward to walking down the aisle because I know he's going to cry. <laughs> <laughs> now the pressure's on for him to cry. But um, I can't wait to like say our vows because we're going to do like our own vows. I'm really excited for that. And I'm just excited to dance. Like, mm -hmm. I can't wait to dance. Awesome. Yeah, awesome. I'm so excited for that. Dream place to shoot a wedding? Dream place? Mm -hmm. um, I would say like an elopement in like the mountains or like Iceland or something crazy like that. I think, or Italy. That would just be amazing. Mm -hmm. Like internationally somewhere beautiful mm -hmm. yeah okay and what is the best reaction you've ever gotten from a couple about your work um I, i'm not i don't mean to brag at all but i've gotten such good feedback from from brides and whenever they give me a review or or tell me how much they love their photos it literally makes me cry like i get so emotional when they get so happy over it because i just want them to be happy and the fact that they're like ecstatic about it makes me so happy so if they write any type of review that they any bride has ever written on my Facebook makes me cry. <laughs> I don't think I can pick a favorite. Okay. Because they're all so sweet. Thank you so much for, yeah. for being on. And thank you for all the advice you gave everyone. Oh, thank and you. And congratulations on your engagement. Thank you. Yeah, Great. it was fun. Thanks for having me. Great. So everyone, Tony Marie Photography, yeah. uh, all of her information will be in the links below. So look her up. Thank you again. Thank and you. Thank you for watching. Yeah. To say yes to the best and happy planning. Bye-bye.